Hello, and welcome to Joan Comrie's Feeding Tips. My name is Joan Comrie, and today's topic is going to be from a question of a mom who had sent me an email asking, what does it mean if my child is choking on the little table foods that I'm giving my child? So this baby is 10 months old, and when she is placing little cubes of cheese or little cubes of carrots or little green beans or sweet potatoes or potatoes that are soft solids is what we would call them as a feeding therapist and baby's putting them in their mouth and she's bringing it side to side and it looks like she's chewing and then when she's ready to swallow it gets to the back where it should be to transport down her throat and she begins to gag and she spits the food out and is beginning to get upset about it. When she was a little bit younger, she wasn't so concerned, but now that she's about 10 months old, the baby is getting a reaction, an aversive reaction to that food. And the concern with that is just what I said, that if baby continues to have experiences that aren't super comfortable with food, she may become a little aversive to that food or to foods that are like that food. So any of the foods that are cubed, which would be your first solid, soft solid foods that people are um, providing for their babies. So what do you do about that? Well, first of all, you want to look at a couple things. When you're chewing, you need to have the baby take the food and bring it to the side with their tongue and their mouth is open and they're probably a little uncoordinated as they're transferring the food side to side as they're trying to chew it up and it takes a lot of coordination to get the tongue to laterally transfer to get the jaws to crunch up and down at the same time that's required for the baby to be able to smash up the food and then they need to smash that food up to a texture that's called swallow safe so swallow safe texture means that it's a safe texture for the body to swallow, which is very important for digestion and GI issues, as well as to reduce the risk of airway obstruction or aspiration. So if your child or a child is choking or gagging on the food that they're chewing, that tells me as a feeding therapist that that texture is not safe or is not the right texture for the baby or the baby doesn't have the right skills to handle that texture. So if you are giving your baby those type of foods and the baby is um, looks like maybe they're chewing but then they gag and they even if they spit it out you can look at what the texture looks like and sometimes it's the same as the texture that went in which tells me that they're not getting the coordination of that lateral tongue movement and the jaw compression, that coordination is not there. It also um, tells me that the patterns aren't mature enough at that point to handle that. If the food is smashed up but not broken up enough, again, it tells me that the baby just may have the emerging patterns for those textures but doesn't quite have the correct patterns to completely chew it to the right consistency that would be considered um, a safe bolus or a safe food to go down their throat, a safe consistency. Because our body's gag reflex, and it may be that your baby has a heightened gag reflex, but a gag reflex is normal. And what that does is provides a safety net for us so that food does not go down that has the potential risk of obstructing the airway or causing difficulties with the body. and is usually when a gag is occurring it's because that food is not the right size or the right consistency for the body to accept it as something safe and swallowing so even though you don't want your baby to have those gagging experiences it's actually a positive thing because it's keeping the baby safe and what you need to do um, depending on the age is just back off on those textures and work on some exercises to get that tongue to transfer to the side work on um, making sure that the baby has good chewing toys that can get back there and they can start chewing and i will be doing a piece on finding good chewing um, chewy toys or mouthing toys for babies to facilitate patterns for good chewing so question is my baby is coughing or choking or gagging or spitting out chunks of food that should have been chewed and 
um, the baby didn't swallow it or they're swallowing it making a funny face or gagging on it or getting stuck on it or uncomfortable in any way, what does that mean? That means that that texture for the baby right then and there is not this, not competent um, or is not the right texture for the baby skill. So the baby skills aren't as advanced as what that texture requires the skill to be to be safe. So the recommendation is to back up into a more um, comfortable texture and our, the next topic we're going to talk about is the characteristics of food and how that can promote certain patterns of your mouth for chewing and keep your baby safe. If you are concerned, that also can mean that the baby would require someone's expertise like myself as a speech pathologist that specializes in feeding and swallowing disorders and difficulties. So um, maybe recruiting someone like myself that has this level of expertise can help you teach your child and to teach your child the correct skills to work through these consistencies because what you don't want to do is allow your baby to continue to have those experiences because they could either shut down and stop eating or stop eating those types of foods they'll avoid that or they will desensitize their gag to the point that it's not going to protect them um, and it's not going to be safe enough because that can happen. You can desensitize your gag reflex to the point where kids can swallow huge pieces of food. Um, on some x-ray studies that I do, I have seen kids swallow almost entire pieces of chicken nuggets without chewing. So that's definitely something you don't want to set your child up for. So hopefully this was helpful. Please share this video with anyone that you feel like it might help and please continue to give me comments and feedback and feel free to uh, check out my website or to email me some questions that you may have and I may be answering these on videos. Thanks. Have a great day.